What's up guys, this is Nate Kill and today I'm showcasing Flood Island. Again, this is an updated version of the map. The original version had some lighting, spawning, and weapons issues, so Z fighting and so on, so I had to update it again. But yeah, this is actually the first map I ever made in Forge. I mean it's been updated a lot since the original iteration of it, but still, it's the original map of my original map. Slayer. It's a very big Let's map, you can do. and it's meant for infection. Basically, it's a defend the house type map, like classic style. But it's very big, so the survivors will spawn here, and the infection will the infected. Sorry, the infected will spawn like back there, past the woods. But anyway, the survivors spawn here, and they gotta get to the armory before the infected. I'll be switching in and off from uh, Machinima this game because I want to show some gameplay stuff. So yeah, there's this switch here, and this is how the survivor is set to start. And then like, once they're in here, they'll want to close it up and wait for Infected to come in. Like if the survivors are all in here and they keep it shut, then it, theoretically if the door opens and it's Infected entering. But yeah, there's the two armories on either side. Any weapons. The infected are much stronger and faster though than like infected and regular infection, so that's kinda evens out the flow of the game, the gameplay. But yeah, we're going to Machinima showcase a few things. Massive map. And it's actually three islands are playable. There's actually two islands are playable, my bad. Um that one out there is not accessible. But yeah, you can play on this island here. There's not a whole lot going on here, and it's kind of a death trap. A lot of infected spawn, and there's only a couple weapons, so if you want to go out this far, you're probably going to get killed. And yeah, there's this land bridge connected. Be careful, too, because if you go too far out, you'll drown. Um, I believe there's a peak out here somewhere. Out here somewhere where you can stand on, and that's what, yeah, right there. That's what I meant by the third island. You can never actually get to this island over here, but you can get on this little like thing, but you're kind of cornered and there's no weapons. But there are plenty of caves too, you can hide in. It's a very massive map. There's a cave down here with a scatter shot variant. Actually, oh shit, fuck. Oh, it's right over here. <laughs> there and this is a good spot to stay but the infected will usually storm that spot. You can also get up on the mountains up here. You can pretty much get up on any area of this map. It's almost like a miniature open world map. And the last spot is this cave down here which has water and deep water though and there's a shotgun in there. But yeah, I mean, the other spots work somewhat, but I honestly, like, I'd recommend staying in the armory as much as possible, because that's like the, unless, until the players start thinning out, then you might want to leave. But yeah, it's basically a defend the house type map with other options, too. You can even get on the roof if you really try. It's difficult, and there's a saw up here. So infected, you have an easier time getting up on the roof, so it's... The easiest holdout is in the armory. It's hardest for infected to get to. So that's what I'd recommend. But yeah. Anyway, that about sums up this walkthrough. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. See y'all next time.